The use of performance enhancing drugs in sport is an ongoing debate within the sporting world. The first use on record was in the third Olympiad when Thomas Hicks won the marathon after receiving an injection of strychnine in the middle of the race. The first official ban on stimulating substances by a sporting organisation was introduced by the International Amateur Athletic Federation in 1928. There are five main categories of performance enhancing drugs. These are stimulants, anabolic steroids, narcotics, peptide hormones and beta-2 agonists. Stimulants are drugs that boost bodily functions, including heart rate and brain activity. Examples of these include cocaine and adrafinil. Anabolic steroids is a category of steroids that stimulate muscle growth and can allow athletes to train harder and recover quicker. They work by testosterone, therefore side effects include deepened voice and increased bodily hair, especially for female athletes. Examples of anabolic steroids include drostanolone and tetrahydrogestinone. Narcotics are painkillers used to control pain from injuries and therefore allow athletes to train for longer. If they are being used in order to ignore an injury, athletes obviously risk doing further damage. Examples include morphine and heroin. Peptide hormones are naturally occurring substances that circulate in the blood and they have multiple effects. They can improve muscle growth, change the balance of other hormones and increase production of red blood cells, which in turn increases oxygen delivery. Insulin and human growth hormone are examples of these. Beta-2 agonists are the class of drug found in asthma inhalers. When inhaled, they relax the airways, allowing more oxygen to reach the blood. Examples include salbutamol and terbutaline. The spirit of sport is defined as the celebration of the human spirit, body and mind, all of which combine the following. Ethics, fair play and honesty. Health. Excellence in performance. Character and education teamwork, dedication and commitment, respect for rules, laws and respect for self and other participants. Training aims to bring out these values and it's a fundamental rule that drugs aim to improve on natural potential are against the spirit of sport. Drugs are banned with the safety of the athlete in mind. Organisations think about what athletes represent when they ban performance enhancing drugs. Athletes are role models to the younger generation. They compete for their country while the world watches. It is important these professionals follow the rules and display good attributes like fair play and respect. Some people argue that biological manipulation embodies human spirit as drugs have the capacity to improve an athlete on the basis of their reason and judgement. It is argued that by legalising drugs, sport would be less of a genetic lottery and winners would be those with a combination of the genetic potential, training, psychology and judgement. An example of this are classical musicians who use beta blockers to control their stage fright. The drug is known to lower their heart rate and blood pressure, reducing the effects of stress. Elite classical music is arguably as competitive as elite sports with similar rewards. However, here there is no stigma attached to those who take drugs. The question is therefore asked whether it is fair to allow it in some professions and not others. Some people say that doing well in sport is a result of nature dealing some individuals a win in hand when it comes to their genetics. For example, black Africans do better at short distance events because of biologically superior muscle types and bone structure. Thus, is it fair to say sport discriminates against the genetically unfit? A Finnish skier in 1964 won three gold medals due to a genetic mutation where he naturally had 40 to 50% more red blood cells than the average person. Is it fair that he had a significant advantage given to him by chance? The swimmer Ian Thorpe has enormous feet, which gives him an advantage that no other swimmer can get, no matter how much they exercise. Some gymnasts are more flexible, and some basketball players are seven feet tall. By allowing everyone to take performance enhancing drugs, it is argued that the playing field would be levelled. It would remove the effects of genetics inequality. Drugs such as growth hormones are natural chemicals in the body. As technology advances, drugs have become harder to detect because they mimic natural processes. In a few years, there will be many undetectable drugs. Analysis predict that when the risk of being caught is zero, athletes will all choose to cheat.